Hi again everyone, Pastor John here from Napanee Baptist Church. It's Friday, May 21st, and it's good to be with you again. Hope you're doing well. God bless you. Keep reading the Word, keep praying, keep looking to our Lord, and He will see us through. We're doing a series now, just finishing it up in the book of John. So if you can turn to the Gospel of John, John chapter 21, John chapter 21, and we're just going to read the entire chapter and comment a little bit and then close in prayer. So let's read this chapter together. John chapter 21, and this is right after the resurrection. It says, Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. It happened this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them. And they said, we'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. He called out to them, friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, throw your net on the other side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, it is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him for he had taken it off and jumped into the water. The other disciple followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish, for they were not far from shore, about a hundred yards. When they landed, they saw a fire of burning coals there with fish on it and some bread. Verse 10, Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish you have just caught. Simon Peter climbed aboard and dragged the net ashore. It was full of large fish, 153, but even with so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came, took the bread, and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. Verse 15, When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you really love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. I tell you the truth, when you were younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted, but when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Verse 19, Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. Then he said to him, follow me. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved was following them. This was the one who had leaned back against Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he asked, Lord, what about him? Verse 22, Jesus answered, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. Because of this, the rumor spread among the brothers that this disciple would not die. But Jesus did not say that he would not die. He only said, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? Verse 24, this is the disciple who testifies to these things and who wrote them down, meaning John, the Apostle John. We know that his testimony is true. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. May God bless the reading of his word. And the admonition here is even for someone like Peter, someone who had denied Jesus. 
and all the disciples, other disciples who had run away. Jesus says, come, follow me. They could experience forgiveness, they could experience healing, and they were given a mission and given a calling, just like we are. Come, follow me, and may that be your calling today. May you realize that in spite of who you are, in spite of what you've done, there is forgiveness with Jesus. There is healing. There's a new life. There's a new start. And his call for you is to come and follow him. And may we become ardent followers of Jesus. Let's pray. Commit our day to him. Father, I just pray that you would bless each one, that you would watch over us, that you would give us strength, give us discernment, give us your power to be able to follow you and to do the right thing, to become fishers of men like the disciples did. Lord, give us a vision of yourself, the resurrected Lord. We know that only you can change things. Only you can resurrect us and turn things around in our lives so that we would be able to follow you. So we just want to commit ourselves to you now. Bless each one who is watching. Help us to have a good weekend and to keep trusting you. Be with our church service on Sunday. Bless each one who comes. Be with the worship team and the preaching. And we just want to do it all for your sake and your glory and to be your followers as we commit ourselves to Jesus. And it's in his precious name that we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. We'll see you bright and early on Monday. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.